Hi everyone and welcome to the 2016-17 Fox 56 Sports Show driven by Toyota. I'm Aaron Dugan and we're glad to be back for another year. We have a great show tonight. Bob I joins us with a story on Frank Sheptock returning to coaching at Berwick, a familiar face taking over for the winningest high school football coach in history. We also head to Lake Lehman, the field hockey team boasting five players on the roster already committed to D1 and D2 schools. King's College head athletic trainer Greg Janik joins us for some great tips for athletes on how to perform well and stay hydrated in this heat. You also get to know Mount Carmel's Manus McCracken off the field. Our featured cheerleaders this week are from Lakeland High School. And to wrap things up, we have a performance from the Valley View Cougars marching band. Keep in touch with the show by following us on our social media accounts, which you can see here. And don't forget to use the hashtag fox 56 Sports. Let's start out this week in Berwick. Bob Ide tells us what brought Frank Sheptock back to the field. Come on. We're going to run the bubble. Go on. Yeah, no, that's perfect there. Perfect. Perfect. Dane has a TFL. You make a great play. Here we go, here we go. Right here, right here. If you're a Wilkes University football fan, then his voice sounds very familiar. For 18 years, Frank Sheptock led the Colonels on the sidelines. The one-time Bloomsburg Husky All-American linebacker left Wilkes two years ago to become Berwick's high school athletic director. When longtime coach George Curry passed away this year, the district didn't have to look very far to find a new coach. Well, very exciting. Obviously, you come to a program like Berwick where there's a great tradition. Obviously, there's a lot of expectation. And obviously, the boys, football is very important to them. Football is very important to the community. So it's an outstanding opportunity for me. So, you know, I love to coach, love being back around the team and being in the locker room and building relationships. So, you know, it's off to a great start. Look forward to the season. Yeah, so, you know, obviously Coach Curry was a legend and there's no top in that. He was, you know, a father figure to many and, and a great football coach. But the one thing, the one attribute that Coach Curry and Coach Sheptock really share is that, uh, you know, winning's not an option, it's, it's a lifestyle. So that's the one thing that he's really instilled in us. and. Uh, we're excited to play for the guy. We all bought in and we're excited. Understand? Move out a little bit, Michael. Okay? You're just, you're going to turn this way. You're going all the way around to him. Okay? You're doing that. Here we go, here we go. Left, left, left. This is right, 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 right. Sal's the center. 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 Here we go, here we go. And I drop my hand. And I drop my hand. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Here's the when Sheptock was offered a chance to coach high school football, something he's never done before, he first went to an old friend who made the transition himself. Richie and I were at Kings. I mean, that friendship, you know, forged, and it's, it's extremely strong. Uh, you know, hey, the first day after he got the job at Dallas, he was down with me at Berwick because I'm getting ready for the Berwick job. I mean, I'm on the phone with him, you know, saying, what do I need to do with this and do with that? And, you know, helping each other prepare. So, you know, I think it's a type of situation, Bob, where, you know, obviously that's someone you're extremely close to. It's like when you're, you know, competing against someone you're really close to, you're trying to, you know, do the best you can and you want to impress that person and, you know, they mean a lot to you, so you want to do your best. And Yeah, I, uh, you know, I actually talked to him one day and I said, listen, if this, you know, situation comes around at some point in your life, you got you to gotta take a look at it because, in reality, it's actually more football than what we did because you know most of the year was spent recruiting in college. We became very close over the years. You know, we were a block away from each other, and you know, in a 20-year span, there was never even a, a, a rumor of negative recruiting between the two places, and and that that's rare. Uh, you know, we really believe in the same fundamental philosophies of football. We're going to block and tackle and get after it in the C gap on both sides of the ball. Uh, but we've become very good friends and, and you know that friendship means an awful lot to me and I know he feels the same way. The one thing you'll notice when you come to a Burt Rake practice is just the similarity between George Curry and Frank Sheptock. They run practices with high intensity, a lot of detail, and boy do they love the game. Here we go. Remember we want it to go opposite of where it wants to go. With a solid senior class and talent all around, Berwick will be one of the favorites in the new 4A class in District 2. Well, I definitely believe that that you know sets the tone really for any any football type program where you where you have to be strong up front and you have to have some experience. If we stay healthy, we could have seniors at every position. Obviously, 
you know, there's some health things that we got to be able to work through and things like that, but we have a tremendous amount of experience. We have some size there, and then we have some depth uh, from some young men who got experience because last year is, you know, coach battled some of the things from an injury bug standpoint that some other young men got experience. So I believe on the offensive and defensive lines that if we can be a dominant presence, on both sides of the ball, that gives us the best opportunity to be successful. I'm excited. It's nothing but excitement. Um, you know, you grow up with these kids playing in BYFL, you know, like my friends uh, Kyle Roberts, Ansacini, Lenny White, Justin Grosh, Kyle Pitt. You know, like there's just such a combined class, and uh, it's nothing but excitement coming, to it, coming into it, and I know collectively that's, that's just uh, we're all excited. How well Berwick ends up the regular season will depend on weeks 8, 9, and 10 when they face off against Wyoming Valley West, Lake Lehman, and Williamsport. Up next, the Lake Lehman Black Knights field hockey team.